Okay, again, this is 7-3, and uh, what this is really all about is recognizing a fraction and what whole number it would be closest to. What What am I missing? 7-6. Yeah, 7-6. You said 7-3. Oh, I said 7-3? Yeah. Oh, man, it must be the stroke. Okay, so it's 7-6. All my students just raised their hand and pointed out that Mr. Glazier doesn't know what he's talking about. Anyways, so um, if this is 2, and right here on a number line is 3, and I was to write uh, uh, a mixed number of, let's say, 2 and uh, 1 quarter, I think that's the example I started to use, I need to, find a where, I need to find out where that is on the number line. And so most of you, I hope, would recognize that this would be really two and one half right here at this point. And then if we were to divide it into quarters, this would be uh, two and one quarter. And this would be right here, this point would be two and three quarters. So if I was to ask what whole number is this closest to, this is, this is the point we're talking about, two and one quarter, it's obviously closest to two. So I would just estimate this as being equal to 2. That's what this lesson is all about. And we're not going to do a lot of those. So you could look at 7, 6, the first page there, 290 on your own. Um, and I'm even not going to worry about, well, let's see here. Uh, let's look at, let's just do maybe these right here, 8. 9, 10, and 11. I'm not going to do them all. I'll just do one of them. So um, number 9 here, this is 11 and 2 eighths. Is that 2 eighths closest to 11 or closest to 12? Well, if you're not sure, you could draw yourself a little mini number line. I could make this 11 and I could make this 12 right here. I'm pretty small. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. And so right here would be, um, this would be 11 and a half. And this would be the quarters. And then eighths would be one more mark between the quarters. And I could see if I have this number line between an 11 and 12 divided into eighths by simply counting the, the marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And what's the number? It's 11 and 2 eighths. One, two, it's going to be right there. So is it closest to 11 or is it closest to 12? It's obviously closest to 11. So hopefully you guys can recognize like the eight, it's closest to the closer to 12 than it is to zero. You can look at it that way. 4 is closer to 0 than it is to 10. That's another way you could look at it. Looking down here at number 13, uh, 1 is closer to 0 than it is to 3. 1 is closer to 0 than it is to 4. So do 8, 9, 10, and 11. That'll be for homework. Let's look at the next page here. Number 21. It says, use the recipes to answer the questions. Let's look at question number, letter A. It says, estimate how many cups of fruit trail mix can the recipe, uh, fruit trail mix the recipe can make. Well, let's just go over here first. And I'm going to put some whole numbers. A half a cup. Well, let's round up and we'll call that one. Three-eighths of a cup, is that closer to zero or, or eight? The three, is that closer to zero or eight? Zero. It's closer to zero, so I'll just put a zero there. One is would be one. And a quarter cup, is that closer to... Is that one closer to zero or four? Zero. So a, a really rough estimate would be you know two cups for this they may have suggested going by halves but i'll just keep it simple here so um i would say two cups 
How about one and one third cups of raisins? That's closest to one. One cup would be one. One and three quarter cups. What do you think that's closest to? Yeah, I heard several of you say it, two. And again, one cup. So there's your estimates. Estimates for a traditional trail mix. I heard somebody whisper it, five. All right, is that a, a question here? Estimate how many cups of traditional. Yep, five. Make sure you put cups. And then you can do C on your own. Number 22 is five, I'm sorry, three and five eighths inches taller than Colleen. If Kim is 60, point, 60 and three quarter inches tall, what's the best estimate of Colleen's height? So we're going to estimate here three and five eighths. Is that closer to three or four? Four. Yep. 60 and three quarters, is that closer to 60 or 61? 61. All right. So um, that's all I'm going to do right there. I'll let you figure out the rest on your own. Think about what they're asking. 23, higher order thinking. Uh, I'm not worried about that one. You can skip that one. 24. Makes sense. Persevere. Cal has 1250 to spend. He wants to ride the roller coaster twice and the Ferris wheel once. So roller coaster twice, Ferris wheel once. Uh, does Cal have enough money? Well, how much does it cost to ride the roller coaster? Here's the roller coaster. How much does it cost to ride the Ferris wheel? Here's the Ferris wheel. Remember, um, he wants to do the roller coaster twice that's going to matter and the ferris wheel only once does he have enough money explain and then it says what are the three possible combinations i'm not worried about that all right so but i do want you to explain it explain how you got your answer and then 25 and 26 you guys can do those on your own that's that's it for your homework for tonight not a whole lot so on page 291, I do want you to do 8, 9, and 10, and 11. And, um, and then the next page, 292, do those problems we just went over. And so that's it for the video. Let me end this.